fish. And also we look at light conditions. Um, we monitor sun conditions. And, and it's very important that plants get so much sunlight every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we've actually got equipment that we monitor the sunlight. And then the students are able to adjust the supplemental lighting or the indoor lighting. So they learn all the, um, the indoor, the controlled environment type conditions that are required to learn about those they get to understand them really well we do a lot of um just regular greenhouse thing things such as planting and propagation okay. and that type of thing too and then of course um harvesting is a great is a big part of the of the the course and then also included in that we we talk about food safety quite a bit food safety is sure. very is very important um that we properly handle the the vegetables and the fruit right right to the customer okay now uh, being as i've n i'd never heard of aquaponics before so it's brand new to me how far can i go with this let's say i take the course and and i complete the course what can i do with this later on so there's a lot of um <clears throat> different things we can do with that you know of course you can if if someone decided they wanted to go into aquaponics they could certainly go into aquaponics in this program and by the way uh, we're the only place college in the country that offers this two-year two degree in aquaponics. Really? Yes. This is the only one? The only one in the United See, States. Next, the next one is, uh, there's one in Hawaii at a university there. So, um, <clears throat> But some of the other things we can do there is, of course, if, if uh, it's more controlled greenhouse or controlled agriculture type environment. So some of the other things we can do is, with, is hydroponics, um, aquaculture, we can do, if, if individuals or students are interested in going into fisheries, they learn a lot about okay. the aquatic life and the, and the fish. Uh, biologists, particularly if a student wants to go into a four-year college, sure. there's a lot of um, good information, a lot of knowledge that they'll gain from going through this course if they're biologists. One of the other areas that we're looking at and we're partnering with Dickinson State University is is actually to work with them on their farm management program uh, for mm. if there's ag lenders that uh, need to know more about, particularly when we talk about that, we talk about vegetable production, especially crops. And so as that industry goes, we need to make sure that our ag lenders and other individuals in the communities understand what that business is about. So, okay. And of course, um, we're also always looking for instructors for the future. Okay. All right. Very in, cool. In horticulture. Now, all right, we've talked about what we can do with the college. Is this something that we can do at home, too? Yes. Uh, you know, I, I happened to be through our our local grocery store here back a couple months ago, and I saw they had an aquaponics kit right in the store that they were selling. And so uh, individuals that maybe want to have some fresh vegetables or herbs in the wintertime, they can actually grow those right in the kitchen, right at home. Really? And um, it's a complete set. Uh, it's, it's rather unique because this provides us year-round fresh vegetables and okay. herbs and that type of thing. So. It, 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 how, how big of an operation is it? I mean, it's, how much will it it's take? It's a tabletop okay. type operation. Yep. And so a lot of times we'll, they would put them right in the, in the window. So, um, and then along those lines too, I, I just want to mention that starting in January, we're going to actually have workshops. Uh, okay. And the, the unique thing about the workshops is, is that it's a two or three day course, and s students are able to get a credit get credit for it. Mm -hmm. um, if there's employers, horticulture businesses that would like to have their employees come in and gain some additional knowledge and not just in aquaponics but other horticulture programs they will have the opportunity to do that so okay it's it's kind of unique we've got i think we probably will have eight to ten different types of uh, workshops that'll be available okay. for them starting in january so who do we contact uh, about getting into this well we can contact student services at dakota college uh 228-5489 or we can go online and go to dakotacollege.edu. Okay. Um, if you're if they're interested in the aquaponics program, I think the easiest way to do that is just to go out and Google it. Go to okay. Dakota College of Botano, put in aquaponics, and the program is there. So. Three hundred nineteen thousand results in one point two seconds. <laughs> there you go. All right. Yes. All right. Very cool. I yeah, honestly, I feel educated now. Well, well, great. I'm, uh, it's good to hear. Are you going to be one of those people that teaching the course in January? I am. I, okay. I will be one of the teachers. 
teachers. Um, Diane Beckman is also an instructor. She's okay. been with us for a long time, an excellent instructor too. So, okay, yes, that's and, very interesting. Okay, and anyone that's interested in looking at the aquaponics operation, have stopped by. All I'd right. love to show them the aquaponics operation. Very good, buddy. I appreciate it. Keith Knutson, instructor, Dakota College of Bond. I'll give you five. Ah, all right, 836, Sunny 101.9. I want to get you back soon. I want to talk more about this.